Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, but first let's have our shout out to Sharon, Ellen, Carol, Molly, Pamela, and Janet. I appreciate each and every one of you. Isn't this adorable? So it is a junk mail recycled envelope pocket. And just open it up, and you've got your little pocket right in here. You've got a nice window, got some decoration, and you have a closure. Now, if you're doing the Tag Me Tuesday project, you can use absolutely any papers that you want. You can use book papers. You can use book page pictures. You could use paper pads. You could use digitals. Absolutely anything you want. I happen to be using Chapter 1 Digitals, and there is a link down below for a, with a discount code so that you can get these beautiful papers at a discount. So to make this closure work, and you want it just to maybe be a piece of ephemera that you pop in a pocket or a belly band, maybe in addition to a journal, or maybe even send it out in happy mail. You would want to take your twine or your ribbon and you'd want to tie a knot going through the eyelet right here and then bring it down and go through the portfolio closure. So right between the two circles and it would hold it closed nicely. Now the reason why I haven't done that yet is because I'm either going to use this one or the one we're going to make together as my closure for my altered file folder. And if you want to know how that is going to happen, <laughs> check in tomorrow. And we're going to be using and choosing one of these for that. But if you're doing a Tag Me Tuesday project, you use any papers you want. Well, even if you're doing the altered file folder, any pages you want. The only thing you would do differently is you'd want to finish covering the back. Because I'm going to be gluing this down, onto another paper, I don't need to finish the back. So that's the only difference. So let's just get started. I have a nice little recycled windowed envelope. I've chosen this side be size because it is approximately the same size as this one, and I know that this will fit nicely on the top of my altered file folder. And that's why I've chosen this one. If maybe you have some junk mail and your, you have some large envelope windows, you could use that. Even the larger uh, envelopes, you can use those. Those would be beautiful. So you can use whatever type of window junk mail envelope you like. So you don't have to use one just like this. The next thing we want to do is we want to figure out what are we going to put in this window? So I think what I'd like is I'm actually going to use the same picture as I used before. And I'm just going to take my envelope just like this. And I want this part to show. I'm not too sure I want this part. I want this part to show. So I'm going to trim it or mark it so that I can trim it, just like this. And then I'm going to get my scissors, and I'm going to trim inside of my markings. And that's because the pocket's going to be smaller than the outside. So inside my markings, I was hesitating because I really need it to go all the way to the top of this envelope and that's a pretty long envelope. We might have to trim it but let's see how this works out. Am I all the way at the bottom? No, there I am. That is gorgeous. I love that. Let's use that as our window. Now I'm not going to glue it so that <clears throat> It's glued and that's all you see in the window. I have made this one so that if you put something else in it, that will show. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing here. Although you can make this be the only thing you see in the window, and you simply do that by gluing this image 
on the front side. You put your glue here, and then it would stick like this. I'm going to stick mine this way, okay? So I'm going to do that right now. Well, actually, maybe I will do it this way this time because this piece of paper isn't long enough to cover the inside. You see right here, the inside is, is not covered right there. And I'm going to need it to be covered because look, I need my flap to be totally covered. So maybe this would be the time that I'm going to change up and I will make it just my picture that's in the window. I'm going to do it the easy way <clears throat> and I'm going to stick my art glitter glue inside my envelope and I'm just going to apply my glitter, my glue this way, you guys. I just think sometimes doing it this way is just so much easier than trying to get that glued up piece of paper to stick into your window. All right, so it's glued in there. That's not going to be coming out. I need to decide what I want for the back because now that's the front of the inside. I need to decide what I want here on the back and that will be showing right here. Maybe uh, it would be as simple as um, sticking this in, the rest of this piece of paper. Let's do that. Let's stick the rest of this in here. I'm going to just trim this out and trim this here and trim it like this. Hopefully this will fit. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this. I'm going to throw these little slivers away. Hopefully this will fit right inside of here. Not quite. I need to cut it just a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm going to just cut it a tiny, tiny bit. This time with my guillotine. And now let's see if it will fit in. And this is covering... What did I... Here we go. <laughs> it helps if you uh, try to open the opened end of your envelope. Pop this in. Perfect. Let's make sure it's all the way to the bottom. So it, nope, it wasn't all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Is that... Yeah. Perfect. And it covers completely. That's what we want. We definitely need it to cover completely. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue it to the back of my envelope this time. So just putting some more glue in there. Glue it right to the back. <clears throat> Alrighty. Nicely glued. Is there anything else that's coming up that I need to glue? This one, I need to glue that. I need to glue this in. Let's glue that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alrighty. This will dry. This is just a little bit of wet glue. It kind of was a little bit of a glob. I couldn't see it down inside, but it's okay. It will dry and it will be fine. Trimming that off now. All right. The next thing, I got glue on my thing. Let me wipe it off real quick. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to figure out what do we want to put on the inside or the outside. I'm sorry. Hmm. Let's see, we've got some strips here that are quite gorgeous. And this beautiful strip comes in on the tag page. I don't know if I have one to show you. Nope, I've taken it off. I don't have one to show you. I've already removed it and used it. I just think that is absolutely gorgeous, this little strip right here. I'm just going to lay out some things to see what <clears throat> what do I think will be nice on here? What do I think is pretty? How do I think I'm maybe going to lay this out to make it interesting? To make it exciting? <laughs> to make it beautiful? I don't know, you guys. I'm just trying a few things here. I do love this right there. I just think that is so, so pretty. I might want to use that 
right here. I need to cut this straight. I can see that that's not straight. I just think those flowers are just gorgeous. All the flowers in this digital are quite beautiful. Um, it's still off right down here at the bottom and that will bother me so that's much better. Now let's see here. Do I want it to be down here like this and just catch those flowers or do I want it to be all the way across? Good question. I don't know what the answer is to that but I like that a lot and then maybe you never know how it's going to turn out. I mean seriously I think it's just so much fun just to try some different things to see how it's going to turn out. All right I think what I'm going to do first is this is the bottom so I'm going to glue that was the bottom of when I was playing around there so I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply my <coughs> excuse me my glue directly to my envelope. So adding my glue and it's my art glitter glue. And <coughs> I'm just going to pop this down just like this. Yeah. And it might be a little over. I might have to trim and it is. I just wanted certain parts of that strip to be on my envelope, so I moved it over, and it's simply fixed by just trimming that extra off. There we are. That's looking lovely. I think I also need to go ahead and ink this. I should have probably done that first, but it's okay. I'm going to do it just like that, and... <clears throat> I think I'm going to run my sponge this part and this part. I will, yeah. Around that window is really pretty important because when we start putting other papers down, sometimes they don't quite cover all that window and you see the little bend. But if you ink it, then it just kind of goes away. This has a little interesting little part right there like it's ripped. Ooh, I think that's pretty. I'm going to use that end of that piece of paper. Just looking to see if we're in, if I'm in um, frame. And you can see it. Maybe I need to move this up a little bit. And then I'm going to pop this down just like that. Okay, and once again, I'm going to trim it out. I always find it much easier to trim out than to try to put pieces that fit exactly where I want them. I, I have a hard time doing that. I become fumble fingers. All right, now we were talking about putting this next. Do I still like that? I'm not too sure if I really want that or not. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't decided exactly how oh, this brown. I might need to have some of this brown because of this brown. So what happens <clears throat> if we, <clears throat> excuse me you guys, if we put this here and then put this here. Oh, I like that. Of course it is stripey, stripey. Is that going to be an issue for me? I don't know. Turn that around so it says the flower girl. Let's see. What else do we have? We've got this. That would be another stripe if I turned it that way. I'm looking at my scraps over here, guys. Sorry that you really can't see them. Let's see if I can bring them in. If you can see the scraps. I don't really want it to be stripey, stripey, but... I really like this brown with the brown that we've already added. All right, what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this part down. 
I'm going to add my glue to my piece I'm gluing on like this and then I'm going to add some glue right here. How about how I don't remember how high that came. That I don't remember. And I'm going to pop that on. I'm going to lay this straight. Pop it on just like this. All right. Now let's trim this off and then we're going to work with it because I really like that. This is just kind of trial and error. You just lay things down and you think, <clears throat> do I like it there? Do I need to change it? Does something else need to happen? And you just start collaging. And Ooh, that's different. If we take it that way, I also have another piece. That is exactly that same thing. Oh gosh, look, it matches that picture. That's kind of cool. If I would cut it, okay, I'm going to bend it up. If I cut it right here, I'm going to try something and see if it uh, it works out. There's that vase. It's this piece. There's that vase right here. Of course, you probably wouldn't know that it's a vase. Um, how did I have that, you guys? <laughs> I have no idea how I had that like this, but how come it didn't... Uh, Hmm, what happened there? I thought I cut it to fit. What's that other piece? And this is what I cut. Oh, silly me. It was this piece that I cut. I need to cut a little smaller because I don't want that to show. That's that flower right there. Now, what does that look like? not bad. That's not straight though, so it's going to bug me because it's not straight. I know it's a junk journal, but still, sometimes things just bother me. Plus, I'm going to be using this, one of these, on the front of my, I can't decide if I like that, on the front of my uh, journal, my altered file folder. Oh, maybe we take it up like that. I can't decide. I need to decide, don't I, guys? This is crazy that I can't decide. It has to go all the way to the top there. That does. What happens if we do it this way? I think I found it. Okay, I think I like that. So I'm going to, oh dear, I just dropped my lid. I gotta find my lid. Hang on just a second to my glue. All right, you guys, I found my glue and then I got to looking and I really think I want this little piece right here covering up the floral world, even though that's very appropriate for what we're doing. I think this would look good and maybe even all the way across. Yeah, I really like that. I think that adds a lot. So I'm going to add my glue right here and add my glue to my piece and then just, so that's going to cover up that vase. Well, I wasn't really hot about having that vase show. And I'm going to actually just wind it around because I think it, it will just be easier to do it that way than to try to cut it off. All right, so I'm really liking that much better now. And then I still say I need a little bit of this somewhere. Now, whether it's maybe just up here like this <clears throat> or maybe... Um, even down a little further. 
I need a little bit more of that brown on there. I need something, something. I don't know what that something is here. Maybe we need some of these flowers. I know I keep jumping around. <clears throat> How about... That's not bad. I don't want to cover up these beautiful flowers right here in a line. I'm going to trim it right there like that. Let's see. How do I like this? I like that a lot. I'm still wanting some of that brown. I don't know if I need... No, that's not it. I know I'm struggling. I don't really know why, but I am. <clears throat> this is gorgeous right here this rose I know I keep changing because I'm not happy with it so that's why I keep trying all kinds of different things to try to uh, to find that thing that I'm looking for and I don't know what that thing that I'm looking for is Ooh, that's not bad this has a line so I'm gonna cut it right at the line and is this more like what I'm looking for? I'm looking at the camera and saying, mm, is that it, Kathy? Is that what you want? That's not bad. Pulling it down right here isn't bad. Then what happens when we put something like this up there? And what happens when we put that darker piece right here? What happens if we put that darker piece right here? Well, that's not bad. What happens if you take it all the way across? Okay. All right. Let's do that, guys. So I think we need to put this one all the way across. All the way across. Even though it's kind of covered that up a little bit. We're going to put it all the way across. So I'm going to... I don't know if this is too much glue or too far going to do it like this. I'm liking this much better. It's starting to come together. This one took a little more effort than some of them do to get it to come together to where, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. But if that happens, just keep working with it and trying different things. And sometimes even, even walking away from it, go get yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, something like that, and then come back to it. And then you can see it, you truly will see it, it with different eyes. And you'll either like it or you won't, and then you'll keep trying. So... Or maybe you didn't like anything and you just say, oh, I have to just try something. I like that rose. I'm going to see what happens if I trim this out like this. And see about popping this right. Oh, I almost cut it too short. Right there. And I just need a little bit. So I'm going to try. Oh, man, cut it too much. What do you think? I like that on there like that. That looks good. Um, maybe barely on there. I think I need to cut it just a little bit more, guys. I'm kind of scared to cut it, but I need to cut it a little more. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Would even like it better if I cut it all the way. Oh, do I be so brave? I don't know. Maybe. How about here and here? Let's try that. I'm going to be brave. That wasn't quite as much as I thought it was going to be. Better. Yeah, much better. Um, Okay, for some reason I need to ink this. I don't know why, because I didn't ink in the others when I put them down, but 
I think that just kind of needed something. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this on just like this. Oh, goodness. I do like that. Okay, so that's the front. Now, we're going to have to talk about the back. The back. You're going to need something that pulls forward that's the way you like it, and you're going to have a little bit on the back here. So it has to be a big enough piece that when you fold it, now I'm going to dry that for just a second. That needs to get dried. I'm going to bring in some pieces that I'm thinking might work. So none of these pieces will work. They're much too small right here. We're going to need a decent sized piece. I might need to bring in some brand new pieces that are full, something like this. So scooting all this off, we don't need this right now. Scoot that all off. We just need bigger pieces. I'm going to need to fold my flap down and that's why I was trying to dry it still a little damp guys I'm trying to dry this so let me get it dried all right you guys I believe it's dried this is the top right here we've already fixed our inside we've collaged our front we're gonna fold this down now how far did I fold this one down because it was perfect and it was two inches I'm gonna bring in my ruler sometimes it helps I'm gonna fold it downward so um, this is two inches right here. Can you see what I'm doing here? Let's see if I can move it over a little bit. Here we go. Um, lining everything up. Two inches, one, two, that's right here. And we're going to fold this. And I'm using my ruler to help me achieve this. Now, if you have a scoreboard maybe you like to do that I never was very good at the scoreboard but you do it however you can do it and we need to fold this over because what we need to do is we need to <laughs> I worked so hard at that top and I forgot what I did I cut this off and I worked so hard for that didn't I what a silly girl because we're cutting it off right here Oh my goodness gracious, what a silly girl. She totally forgot about cutting that off. Sorry about that, guys. I worked so hard with that. All right, so we're cutting it right there. I'm going to make a line. Do you see my line? And yeah, sorry about working so hard and now cutting it off, but so be it. We're going to cut it. Otherwise, it's going to be way too bulky. I like that piece a lot. <laughs> oh well, say la vie. Okay. Now, I'm going to save it because it's nice and firm. I'll use it for something else. Somewhere down the road, I'll use it for something else. Well, I do like that. That turned out beautiful, even though I cut this top off. This top was like that. I cut it off. That is perfect. I don't know how that happened, but I love it. Now, I do need to glue this little piece down right here. I could not have probably glued on that little piece, that little tiny piece on the top, but it worked out. Oh, I love it. I do. It just turned out perfectly. I love it when that happens. It's kind of like a blind cut, and then you find out, oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. I'm going to mark my center. That's right here. And what I need to do is I need to bring in my one and a half inch hole punch. To get my one and a half inch pull, hole punch in here, I'm going to have to squeeze it, squeeze the sides, pop it open, wiggle this in, and then we're just taking a little notch out. Not a lot, just a little. It just says I'm a pocket. Look here, I'm a pocket. Put whatever you'd like inside of me. All right, so I'm going to take my ink and I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to round my corners right here. So 
taking my corner rounder and rounding my corners, inking this up nicely, right like this. And if you don't ink, then that's a personal choice. That's okay if you don't like to ink. All right, so now we've got it like that. So now we need to cover all oh, that fold so much better without that extra piece there. We need to find something that we like to fold over the front. Um, that's not it. <laughs> um, that's okay. That's pretty. I do like that. That's very pretty. Um, what else do we have? We have this. That's probably not it. We have this. Ooh, I do like that. Or we could go down this way. That's very pretty. Okay, that's a contender for sure. Right there. This is the way that I just hold it to see if, if I like it, if that's what I like. That's super pretty too. You know what we didn't try? We didn't try a really dark piece. There's the dark piece. There's that that says floral design on it. And that would just fold around like that. Nope, it has to be this side. This side and it would fold around. So is it this one? Because we've got dark and then we've got that. Or is it this one? We've got the dark right there and we fold it around. I kind of like this one. Alrighty guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn it like this because then when we turn it, we glue it on and we turn it over, it'll be right side up. And I'm going to take my flap and I'm going to add my glue directly onto my flap. I'm going to ink it up. I ink it up. Glue it up. Good heavens, Kathy. And a little further down. Just a little bit. Unless, unless, you're not going to attach the back to anything and you're going to have it free. Then you'd have to go all the way down. You'd glue it all the way down. But right now, I'm just going to do it this way, and I'm actually going to probably trim it out a little bit. There we go. So you could cover this whole thing with this page if you were using it freely. Like it would be like Happy Mail, or maybe you'd go in a belly band or something like that. Now I'm going to trim this off. Just very simple like this, just kind of haphazardly. Cut it off. I'm going to trim it a little better than that. Even though you're not seeing it. Oops, I just kind of put my scissors on top of my dish that we're going to need in just a minute. Oh, I glued that down well. All right, don't need to glue that anymore. Trim this out. And then we can see what it looks like. I'm anxious to see what it looks like. I probably rounded the corners a little soon. Probably should have waited, but it's okay. You can still fix it and round those corners. Just like that. And then I'm going to run my sponge on it. It always is lovely because it covers up any imperfections in cutting. It's really wonderful for that. Now, it's still wet. I'm going to set it aside. What we're going to be needing, or we're going to be needing some little circles. Some little circles. We're going to need a little circle right here. Let's get some things. I'm going to get some lace. I have got this ribbon right here. Now I'm probably not going to attach it, but I showed you how in the beginning. And I have a beautiful fussy cut. Do I want to use that beautiful fussy cut again? I just think that turned out wonderful. That's in the digital it's a crocus. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's dry that paper and then we'll decorate it and finish it off with our closure. All right, so it's dry now. Let's go ahead and I'm going to fold it back on itself. Well, first let's fold it this way and ink it. 
And then I like to fold it back on itself and ink it in here. Oh my goodness, that is so cute! I love that. Now, I'm going to be using an eyelet. If you don't have an eyelet, then you would be making two of these when we get down to that stage. So if you don't have an eyelet, you make one of these, but you'll have to wait till I get to that stage because right now we're going to pop an eyelet in here. So I'm just finding out the center. I'm going in <clears throat> probably up about a half an inch. I'm going to bring my, it's an eyelet, so I have to use this punch and I find out where I just did that and that's right here. It, pop a hole in it and I'll grab my eyelet, put it in, perfect color, putting the back on it, just like that, and then getting it around so I can put it into my little machine here and give it a good squeeze. There, there's my eyelet. It's all set. Oh, that is so pretty. <clears throat> now, here comes this part where <clears throat> you're going to need two of these if you don't have an eyelet. So you've got your uh, some cardstock or altered file folder scrap or something like that. And you want to take your little one inch hole punch and you want to punch out, you're going to need four of them. And in the kit, let's see if I can find mine. In the kit you'll get these little circles and if you don't have a kit and you're not working with the kit simply take your one inch hole punch and punch a, a hole up a circle from one of the papers that you use to collage or something that goes with it okay and then you'll, what you want to do is take that decorative one and you'll want to pair it up with one of the cardstock ones or file folder. You're going to glue it on to the top of it. So just adding my glue using my art glitter glue and just popping it right on just like that. And I'm going to grab another one and I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to grab one more. Okay, now I'm going to glue these two together. So here we go. Glue those two together just like that. Now I need to add just a little bit more ink on this one. I didn't get it dark enough. There we go. I think I'll get this one a little darker too. Now we're going to be I'm going to let this dry. It's too wet. So down here we need something a little decorative. Now I, in my little dish, now you could use a label if you don't have these pieces of ephemera. Just some sort of little label or little something something. And we're going to decorate the bottom just a little bit. And that's what we're going to put on top of our closure. So just lighting everything up here and looking and seeing how that looks. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. That's the same thing. What do we have here? What do I have here? What's this one? Oh, I don't want to really cover all that up. I worked so hard to get that, didn't I? I worked so hard to get that. I'm not sure I'm willing to cover that up. But this covers it up too. Even this florist thing covers it up. Not as bad, but this doesn't. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, I don't think it's in proportion. I think it needs to be this one. I'm just looking, I'm looking, <clears throat> seeing how everything is, oh, how about this one? I'm 
No. <laughs> and no. So, I don't really have one other than, oh, I have an idea. How about if I go this way? if I go this way. Okay, I like that. But I have to... needs to be in line with my center. So, it needs to be over more. Mm -hmm. it needs to be right there. Is that a problem? Does that, does that uh, need to be totally covered up? Even though we work so hard? We should work cutting off and covering up everything we work so hard at. That's okay. I think it's going to have to be this way, guys. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my little piece right here on and I'm just lining it up. I know where my center is and I'm going to place this so it's right there in the center. Just like that. Okay, and now after this, what we want to do is we want to bring in our hole punch again. And I'll bring in, also bring in my hot glue gun because it's time that I need to use it. And I'm going to bring in my little hole punch. So I'm going to use the smallest hole and I'm going to put both of these together and put a hole right in the center. I can hang on to it. And put them both together and then get your brad and put your brad in it and then open up the back of your brad. And then you're going to place this right in the center. It's, if you've got it in the center, you mark this for the center. This needs to be in the center too because they need to be lined up with each other. I'll put this in the center like this. My thing isn't in the center. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job. That's not in the center. Oh well. All right, so this is where you can get your ribbon and you can tie it through your brad. Or if you don't have a brad and you have another one of these, you wrap it around, tie it in the direction you're going to pull it, and then wrap this around, and then it'll keep it closed. But I want to decorate it just a little bit. So do I want to use... The same thing I used in the other one, which is this. Oh, that's awfully pretty, guys. I think I do. I've got a little bit of polka dot net here. And I'm going to trim right here about like that. Now, I'm going to take a paper clip and I'm going to clip this close so that I know where it starts. And... I'm just going to kind of pucker this just a little bit. I'm going to kind of fold it. Maybe I can here. Well, let's see if I can get it to do what I want it to do. I'm folding it to where I like it. That's not bad. And then if I lay this on top, like that. There, that's not bad. Maybe about right there. Are you seeing this okay? Maybe about right there. I'm going to hold this while I take my glue gun. Now, if you don't have a glue gun, you could use fabric tap, whatever you use to glue down your fabrics and things, and glue that down. Because it's a net, it'll go all the way through. Just like that. Now I want to finish off this edge right here. So I've got a little bit of this vintage lace and I've trimmed off the edge of it. 
I didn't really want that border on there. I think it might be vintage seam binding. And I'm going to trim a little bit more. I'm going to glue that right on there like this. So I need to trim this right at the edge. Right there. Okay. And I'm going to put my scissors over here. And <clears throat> I want this to go like something like that. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to add my glue just like this. And take this piece and just lay it right on there. I've got my little silicone stick. I'm going to press it down. There. Perfect. Now we can pop our little crocus on there. And I'm going to add, I'm going to use hot glue on this. And I'm going to just glue it right on here, just like this. Okay. I'm going to trim this off just a little bit, but I'm not going to trim it off like maybe nicely. <laughs> I guess that's the word. I want it to be jagged. I, I really don't want it to be jagged. And I think it might need some type of label on it. So let's look and see. We've got flowers right up here. Oh yeah, that's what it needs. Um, I think I like that one. Oh, I don't know. This darker one's pretty nice on this one. Now I think I want the darker one on this one. So I'm going to just glue this down. I know this has been a very long Tag Me Tuesday video, but I think the end results is really worth it. I really think that these are spectacular. And I hope that you have enjoyed it. Now, to join Tag Me Tuesday, there's a link down below. You do need to accept the rules of the group, and that is to be kind to everyone, and there's no selling. That doesn't mean you can't sell your stuff, guys. It just means you can't sell it on that site. So go ahead and join, and then post your version of a Tag Me Tuesday project. I ask that you not post just whatever you're working on that week, but that you stick with Tag Me Tuesday projects. There's lots to choose from, you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.